Thank you, Mr. Chairman. This amendment uh, expresses the sense of the House against repeal of the Affordable Care Act, outlining its importance in protecting new benefits for all Americans, including the protection against discrimination based on pre-existing conditions, the ability of young adults to stay on their parents' health insurance plan, and tax credits for small businesses. Uh, Kim Atkins is a constituent of mine who lives in Louisville, Kentucky. Shortly after the Supreme Court affirmed the Affordable Care Act, she wrote to me to share her family's story. Here is what Kim wrote. My daughter, Sarah Atkins, is one of the several young adults that is now on our insurance until she is 26 years old. She is still unemployed and looking for work. On January 9, 2011, the Affordable Care Act saved her life. One of her kidneys shut down and almost went septic. If she wasn't on our insurance, she would have waited or not gone to the hospital at all. The doctor told her if she waited an hour later, she would have lost a kidney or died. Jessica Burton Passbrig is also a constituent. She was born with a congenital heart defect that went undiagnosed until she was 24 years old. Jessica's condition is a result of her arteries being too short and too thin to effectively pump blood to and away from her heart. As a result of her condition, she has also been diagnosed with, with cardiomyopathy. In the past three years, Jessica has been hospitalized 30 times. She has had five heart catheterizations, a double angioplasty, a triple open heart bypass, and four heart attacks. She is 27 years old. Next year, because of the Affordable Care Act, insurance companies can no longer deny her care. But by repealing the Affordable Care Act, the Republican budget seeks to destroy and deny her that care for tens of thousands of Louisvillians with pre-existing conditions and for millions of Americans. The Republican budget would strip them of the promise comes with knowing you are no longer a prisoner to your medical bills. Now, billions of dollars have already been spent in preparing for the Affordable Care Act. 26 years old, as I, 26 year olds, up to 26 year olds, as I talked about with Kim Atkins, daughter, have already been covered. This budget would take away their care. Every weekend in my district, as I'm sure in most districts, there's a walk or a run for some other disease and those people whose families and friends are impacted by those diseases. I go to many of them. I can't tell you over the last two years the relief that I have seen in parents' eyes and heard from their mouths in the fact that their children their friends will never have to worry about being insured again in their lives. I know that the chairman has said that this budget anticipates a replacement that would deal with these issues. But we spent 14 months dealing with 7,000 lobbyists and probably the most complicated legislative process and, 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 and stressful pro uh, legislative process ever in this body. And the idea that we could bet on a replacement for this, passing this Congress is something that if I were one of these constituents of mine or yours, somebody suffering from a chronic disease, somebody who's 23, year old, look, 23 years old looking for work and without access to health insurance, I wouldn't want to count on this Congress coming up with an adequate protection for those people. So I um, strongly urge my colleagues to support this amendment and reject this, uh, this very, very dangerous provision in the Republican budget. And with that, I yield uh, three minutes to the ranking member, Mr. Van Hollen.